What's up people people, welcome back to Basic Principles YouTube channel. Have you ever been ashamed of anything before? Shame has many causes and is influenced by each person's unique personality, family, culture, community, and life story. 50 years ago, it was expected that men and women would keep their virginities until marriage, which was the norm in the 20th century. However, today, in the 21st century, if someone says that they are a virgin it is expected that they are either underage or something is wrong with them, especially as a male. Such is the case in this story we have today, titled, Ashamed to be a Virgin. Before we get into this story, please join the team and help us reach a wider audience by liking the video. Thank you for joining. Anyway, without further ado, the letter to the pastor reads. Dear Pastor. I am 22 years old and I am eager to become a good man and live a comfortable life with assets and life savings. I have lived in a single family home all my life. I was not born in a wealthy family. I depend on rent from tenants to make ends meet. I have been working from the age of 16 to assist myself in attending school and helping out in the house. I am ashamed to say this, but I am a virgin. Some of my friends know that I am a virgin and they mock me by asking when last I had sex. I feel sorry for myself. However, I don't let it break me even though it makes me feel alone or that I'm the only one. I'm single and I haven't found the right woman with the right connections or energy to hang out with. But, I really need a woman in my life. I'm selectively social so I don't socialize a lot. I feel depressed at times so I smoke to clear my head. I'm in a 9 to 5 job at a hotel. I really want to stop working for someone because I'm just going in a circle. Bills and low savings keep me moving slowly. I just want to be happy and take care of myself and my family. That would just be a blessing and forever happiness. Give me your best advice to guide me. J. Dear J. You don't need to be embarrassed or ashamed to say that you are a virgin. If you have never had sex, that is what it is. You don't have to feel sorry for yourself either. It is better to wait on the Lord by praying and fasting over the matter and asking God to lead you. You say you are employed, but your salary is small. The good thing about you is that you are trying to save. Although you can't save big money because you don't make big money, you are being wise by putting away some of what you earn. I believe that you are genuine and I will be praying that God will provide a good woman for you. So I say to you, continue to look to God. I also want to encourage you to go to church and socialize with the young people in your age group. God may have a young lady in your age group for you in church. I will be praying for you. Pastor. Guys, that was Pastor's take on the situation. If you like the video so far, please smash the subscribe button and join the journey and help us get the video out to a wider audience. Anyway, I must tip my hat off to the original poster because to be a virgin today is actually a testament of how mentally strong and resilient he is to not give in to peer pressure for as long as he has, especially when sex is selling uptown, downtown and all around. However, people can experience shame about their appearances, behavior, or specific flaws and insecurities. Shame is a painful experience that often hides behind other defense mechanisms and emotions, like fear, anger, or jealousy. Everyone will occasionally experience shame because insecurities are a part of human nature. But, if you are a virgin because you want to bond yourself to a woman of virtue then there is nothing to be ashamed of. Such discipline is admirable. However, let's hear what others have to say on the matter. Susie says, those folks you refer to as friends, kick them to the curb and have nothing to do with them anymore. They sound brain dead. Jacob Forrest lamented that, nothing is wrong with being a virgin, at your age, you need to go out and meet women and find one who shares your interests and get to know each other and be happy. Captain Sparrow says, son, get yourself together. Girls like a guy with a bit more moxie than you currently have. Moving slow. With your hotel job, low savings and no woman self won't sell. You don't know what you are missing, once you taste a girl, you will feel shot from a cannon with energy and ambition. 
Go find one and stop this 2023 virgin at 22 years old nonsense. Girl Wonder replied to Captain Sparrow by saying, nonsensical comment. There is no doubt that your brain lies within your pants. Captain Sparrow responded to Girl Wonder, in a few short years, this guy will be a 30-year-old virgin, Wonder Woman. Vernal commented, sir, check yourself, I believe you have low self-esteem, hence why you have not entered into a relationship. You should not be unhappy that you are broke, that should motivate you to set and achieve long-term goals. Hope you bruck your ducks at the right time. Anthony replied to Vernal, no Vernie. Let him live his life and not be pushed. He has already been building the house of his life on a rock. Good on him. Who he is as a person has a higher value than only sex. Heck, I've been living by myself for over the last 15 years and my life is pretty darn good. Judith says, what's the big deal about you being a virgin at 22? You should be proud of yourself that you are able to keep your zip shut for all this time. Isaac was in his 60s when he married Rebecca. Men should be taught to have security and shelter before looking for a woman. Seems you are on the right path. An advice to you, happiness comes from within if you don't have it you can't receive it. Randy commented, why would you be ashamed because you are still a virgin? Being a virgin is a most honorable thing. Not only do you avoid unwanted pregnancies, but you also save yourself from a ton of diseases. Remain a virgin for as long as you can. Anthony replied to Randy, if only he would know how God has already been blessing him. Lady D commented, unfortunately, in a sex-crazed community that is poor, pure living is seen as disdain. You seem like you have a real vision for your life which is good. I want a comfortable life with assets and life savings. You are a young man, be patient and consistent. Rome sure was not built in a day. Keep at it. Pray and God will surely lead to a nice lady you can make life with. Can we talk to commented, Pastor, I don't fault your advice to this young man, but for additional encouragement, you could have also advised him to find himself another circle of friends, if you want to describe them as that, where he's not oversharing his personal business, whether it is about sex, money, women, etc. When he stops comparing himself to other people, therefore, what they have, what they earn, or what they're doing, etc. He'll likely stop having a pity party with himself. A sure way to keep yourself depressed is looking at someone else who you perceive to have more going for them in life than you do. Girl Wonder left her own comment, young man. Be proud of yourself, for not being a flesh peddler. Others who have no moral standards will mock you for being a virgin, but being a womanizer is nothing to be proud of. You are a unique young man and God has a special purpose for your life, so take this time to educate yourself and continue to be the godly person which you are. God will send you a loving and virtuous woman, when the time is right. He who laughs last, laughs best. And the last comment comes to us from Mike B, which says, at 22 years old, you shouldn't be ashamed of being a virgin. You should have sex when the time is right and when you are ready. Know that several things can happen when you do it, even for the first time, the young lady could get pregnant, you could get an STI or STD. So, you should be prepared and make sure you know the person well before engaging in the act. Being a virgin should be your business, but I know how people can be. I remember when I was in high school and was clearly a virgin, there was one particular girl who would ask me certain questions in the presence of other girls, to prove that they know about sex and I don't. I can almost guarantee that they are not living a better life than I am now, sexually or otherwise. So, Ignore your so-called friends when they mock you. Falling to their pressures could bring on consequences you are not ready to deal with. So for now, I'd suggest you keep improving yourself. Save as much money, even small, as you can, keep healthy, and maintain your self-esteem. Nothing happens before the time. Well guys, that is it. What do you think about this story? Do you think the original poster should be ashamed of being a virgin? Have you ever been made fun of? When did you actually get active? Let us know in the comment section and please subscribe to the channel and if you like this video, check out more videos on the channel, we cover reddit stories, cheating stories and dear pastor stories. Anyway guys, thank you for watching, catch you in the next one, love.